Okay, this is on the Nelson job. Number 53642. Um, I don't have an install date yet. Um, but what we're doing is we're switching out both these furnaces. They're both 90% furnaces. <clears throat> um, so main floor is an upflow. Basement is a downflow. We're leaving the existing filter boxes. Okay, so on this one, the main floor, gonna set the unit on the um, base and the furnace. Um, have an adapter because our coil is bigger than the canvas. And it says to put starting collars, so this was very difficult. So bear with me as I go over this. Okay, so this is going to be a 5 inch starting collar here, 5 inch long, and we have a drain up here, so I have your cut line right here. So, um, raise this duct up to be level, as you can see my first line was, anyway, raise the duct up to be so it's level before you mark it. Um, but cut the bottom out right here and cut it right here. But don't cut this side. Leave this side long, at least in, you know, long for this duct in the back right here. Because your plan here is only six and a half. This duct is eight. So you're going to just leave this long and cut this right side of your duct down and put an s-lock on it so it matches up and sorry that's the only thing i could think to do then you just have a little four by four starting collar on this one and okay um combustion air is okay um, they're both high efficient, you know, grill door. The vent, you're going to tie into the existing 3-inch PVC. Sorry, existing 2-inch PVC. The gas. On this one, you're going to remove the drop and add a shorter drop. 55-inch drop with a gas caulk and a drip leg. And... Um, just at the shows. Oh, that actually is going to get a ninety close ninety and gas valve. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Um. AC I'll go over in a minute. The drain, I'm going to put in a new condensate pump. And it just pumps to the back right there. They do have a floor drain, so we don't need overflow switches, but I'm guessing they didn't want it in front of the wash and dryer. Stat, we're going to put an M30 thermostat on. Power, reuse the box, add new switch and cover. Replace the filter in the existing box with 20 by 25 by 4. Okay, the um, basement furnace, combustion is okay. Vent tie into the existing PVC. Gas, just as it shows. Drain to pump, thermostat, it's getting this thermostat. I'm not quite sure what one that is, but it's ordered. Power, reuse the box, add new switch and cover. Um, replace the filter in the box at 20 by 25 by four. Okay, duct, just as it shows, I put the new, the furnace on a new base. Um, it's gonna be the same, um, same template as the bottom, just the furnace with different size. And then um, the furnace. And then I made a straight piece of duct and then a your adapter piece so you can get your flues out the front. Um, so 
that's that cut lines right there okay um let's go over the ac breaker panel is right here um, behind this picture. Existing 30 amp breaker is good. AC sits out in the backyard corner. Okay, so those are the existing flues, so they're terminated correctly. Um, okay, so right now the AC sits in front of the disconnect. Our new unit is um, like 28 inches, so um, I'll give you a new 30 by 30 pad, just sit it on top of this pad but screwed it over so we don't block the disconnect <sighs> flush the lines and we use the existing disconnect that's it <laughs>